the wise man built his house upon the rock. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The rain came down to both of them. But the one who built his house upon the rock stood firm. He was not moved. He overcame. David strengthened himself in the Lord, his God. David did not give up. And Nehemiah, he did not get distracted from building the wall. He did not allow all the other things to take away from what was important. He kept his priorities correctly. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not compromise in the word of God. And the Lord was with them through the fire. And this testing produces patience and then character and then hope. And you will strengthen others. Hallelujah. Faith, you know. a long walk today seven kilometers walk i tell you traffic was just too much today you look tired can i get some coffee for you oh that would be great don't be worried about your past circumstances your failure does not define you your past does not define you so rejoice and take courage The last video that I posted on rags to riches, mm -hmm. it's gone quite viral. Oh. So from 3 million subscribers, guess how much we have now? I don't know. 4 million. Wow, that's great. And the best part about this is the content of the video. I think there was no coffee right? We have a new name for the coronavirus. The World Health Organization has officially called it COVID-19. Co for corona, vi for virus, D for disease, and 19 because it started last year. Good morning, students and teachers. This is a difficult time for all of us. A heart goes out to everyone who is fighting this disease. Hang in there. Surely we will rise up from this. We have postponed all the exams. As you all can see, we have created email addresses for all the students and you will be logging on from that for all your classes. All the classes from grade 1 to 12 will have half a day schedule. This is just to start with and we might change it later. Without any further ado, you can all join for your classes now. Good day tackle the coronavirus and that India, in fact, will have to pay a very high price if we fail to observe social distancing. He appealed to the people to stay at home for the next 21 days. घरों से बाहर निकलने पर पूरी तरह पाबंदी लगाई जा रही है। एक एक भारतीय के जीवन को बचाना, आपके जीवन को बचाना। आपके परिवार को बचाना इस समय मेरी भारत सरकार की देश के हर राज्य सरकार की हर स्थानीय निकाय की सबसे बड़ी प्राथमिकता हेलो आई एम रंजित मिखाइल्स क्लास टीचर मिस्टर चार्ल्स वी हैड स्टाफ मीटिंग दिस आफ्टरनून आर स्कूल विल बी क्लोज्ड फॉर अ वीक फ्रॉम मंडे बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द कोविड the school has sent an email informing the parents about it. As Mikhail's class teacher, I have been asked to call you and inform you officially. Please stay safe and take care. 
सॉरी फॉर द इनकनवीनियंस चार्ज थैंक यू हेलो दिस इज रंजित रेबेका क्लास टीचर confirming my inspirational tour for 2020 mm-hmm. hmm. looks like italy is affected really bad okay i just hope it doesn't affect my europe tour oh i said but the good news is that india is doing pretty good at the moment so uh, my indian tour is definitely on that's great my, my only concern would be the europe tour i hope that is okay i haven't got any cancellations yet Yes, it's Steve here. Right. Yes, please tell me. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't checked my email yet. I'll do that right away. Thank you so much, Mr. Rangel, for calling me. Thank you. School has sent an email. Mhm. Check. Oh, there it is. Oh. It looks like the next week is an off for the kids. Oh. We have a next week holiday because of the current covid situation. But oh, that's great. They kids, will enjoy. Oh yeah, kids are definitely going to enjoy. Yes please. Okay? No, I haven't checked my email. I'll do that right away. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Minu? Minu? 
guess what happened? <sighs> Just read this email. I have no idea what's happening. Dear creator, the content from your account has been reported. Your channel will go through a deep review and will be checked based on YouTube community guidelines. Until further notice from us, you will not be able to post any videos in your channel. Thank you for your cooperation. What, what do I do, Manu? This is, this is not the 2020 I had planned. I've been getting calls after calls. Even Daniel had called up from Canada to say that my broken tools are cancelled. What will others say? It's such a shame. Okay. It's all your fault. But I should not have resigned from my job. Minu. So, sir, what brings you here? I have a few questions to ask. Yes, sir. In fact, ask, what made you post that song? My pop is built on nothing less. Yes, that song. Oh, yeah. Well, you see, uh, we were locked down, COVID, economy, and whatever comes for you. Seems to have no hope. But yes, I have hope. And my hope is actually this. You know, I have a very special connection with that song. When I was in the college, there was a situation that my family had been through very, very hard financial problems. My dad was almost to the verge of losing the job. We had the liabilities, maybe huge liabilities. That time 15 lakhs was a great amount. By the time I was very depressed and I was into every bad thing. I was down in alcohol. And once I realized that I have to come out of this, I want to quit drinking. By the time it was very really too late. There one of my cousins took me for an encounter session. That is where first I heard the song and every word in that song has touched me. That is how I came to know the Lord. So as days were going, even my father had his retirement. So our finances also was even in the back shape. Those days, even after retirement, the salary was stopped and we have more financial problems. The retirement benefits, the people were not getting. And I came to know after that, only my father, got the retirement benefit and we could clear all the debts and that is the goodness of the Lord. Later after that, I got the job, life was easy, I had money with me, that is where I again slide back from my faith and now yesterday I hear this WhatsApp status of yours and this reminds me of the song, old song which I heard. So I know where can I realize the goodness of the Lord in my life. Thank you. Thank you for putting that. It's interesting what you just said. Let me tell you now what the uh, Lord has done in my life. I was uh, diagnosed with a blood sickness called sickle cell anemia. There is no cure. And uh, all my life, I had sequences of uh, blood sickness coming in, going in, and there is no cure for it. And one fun day I had one crisis and uh, I was in my bed and I got a call from my pastor inquiring of my whereabouts and I told him I was not well and there I explained him what I was going through actually and over the phone he just prayed for me and he asked me to go test myself to see if everything was fine but because I have been having this sickness since my very uh, uh, early age, I was not really believing anything of that. So I went to a, to a hospital and uh, got myself checked. In the evening when I went to take the report, the nurse told me that there is no trace of that sickness in my blood. Oh, my God. <laughs> I won't believe her because I have, a, I have always had this sickness. 
So I started arguing with, <laughs> with a nurse at the hospital, saying that maybe they have done a wrong uh, checking. But it was so. The Lord healed me, actually, in the morning itself. And from that day till today, there is no record of that sickness coming even close to me. Wow. I was healed. Oh, great. And that's what the Lord has done in my life too. Good to hear that. Thanks for sharing that. I was very burdened while coming here. Now after speaking to you, I feel very light. So Let's thank go. you for that. Let's I go. feel my burden has been lifted up Let's and I'm much free now. Again, I'm getting a late charge. So can I leave before the curfew? Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. Benji, would you like to join us next Sunday, 1030? Yeah, why not? I'll, I'll try, I'll drop it. I'll send you a Okay, it was a pleasure meeting you all. Bye. The Lord was speaking to me about judgment and how he has taken all judgment on himself and because we don't realize that we walk around condemned we walk around like God is out to get us like he's sitting in his throne with thunderbolts in his hand waiting to strike us down we dare not walk under the coconut tree because coconut might fall on our head. <laughs> so, <laughs> hallelujah. We need to really understand what Jesus did on the cross for us. Without that, we will live our life full of condemnation. If we think that there's a perfection we can attain before we can get salvation then we are wrong yes he perfects that which concerns us after salvation and that we must understand when we are in Christ there is no condemnation while we were sinners he died for us doesn't mean we don't have sin if we have sin we confess our sin yes we need to really understand this. And even the Bible is misunderstood. If anything you take away from this message is that we must stop misunderstanding God. God is somehow trying to get you blessed. Don't run away from it. Do you understand? But that blessing is on God's terms, not on your terms. That's why you must understand what God means by even the word love. And if you don't know, read the Bible. Ask your pastor. He will tell you. Get your moral compasses right and stop misunderstanding God. Go to John 3, 16 and 17. It says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. In other words, God knew how sinful I am. And yet, he decided to save us. That makes love not an emotion, but a decision. Charles, I've just called you up to tell that uh, the school is going to be closed. Thank you, Ranjit. How are you? I really do not know, Charles. Even I am, I am upset. I do not know what will happen to my job. Don't worry, Ranjit. Yes, yes. At least you now have time to spend with your family. Okay, Charles. I have to call other parents too. Hello, Ben, sir. Steve, in fact, I've called you to tell about the school. I've sent you an email also. The school is closing because of the COVID. 
many students are getting covid and the teachers and the parents are in different parts of the world so don't worry all the assignments kids has done all the assignments rachel has done her assignments so she will be promoted to the next class thank you okay. this is all your fault you truly want to trust this youtube you are reaping what you have sown this is consequences of what you have not listened to me do you even care for us do you care for our kids rachel chandan and daniel Yes, I do. No, enough is enough. I don't have any value here. Then why should I be here? I have made up my mind. No, it's over. Our marriage is over, Steve. That's it. I'm going. What are you saying? Let the let the kids the school get over, and then I'll be taking them. Bye. Who is it, mother? Yes, sir. I just called to find if Rachel is doing well. Mm -hmm. Well, she has been bit irregular in her assignments in the classes. Oh, as you know, these are online school going on, so it is not easy for the teachers alone, like uh, to follow up with the children. Right. I would request your parents uh, if you can follow up in her assignments and the class works. Sure, sir. I will. Mean, thank you for letting me know. I will mean, definitely look into it right now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Rachel, what are you doing now? Aren't you having class? Get back to class right now. You want to send? I said get back to class. A few moments later. Rachel, what are you doing? It's break time. And true, uh, we need to send 5 kg of chocolate to Susan and T, 1 kg to Elvin, and 1 kg to Mary. Oh, yes, thank you for reminding me. I have packed everything. Isn't Rachel and Michael classmate? Yes. Uh, father has a YouTube channel, I think, called Motivation with Steve. And his YouTube channel has been reported. And with a lockdown, I don't know really how his motivational uh, tools are going on. And uh, I don't know how he's doing actually with his family. I've heard Mikhail also say that uh, Rachel is not attending online class. So I wonder if things are okay with her, how he's doing, and I don't know how to contact him actually. Why don't you see if you can get his number from Ranjit, sir? Good idea. Let me find out. Hello, Charles. Can I ask you a favor? Yes, yes. Yes, please. Could you give me Steve Rachel father's number? Oh, no, no. I can't give the number of any parents. But one thing I can do is maybe I can message Steve and ask about how he's doing. Is that fine? Thank you, Ranjit. You're welcome, Charles. You're welcome. Good night. Yeah. Bye. Hello. Hello. Oh, yes, friend. It's Steve. Yes, I'm sitting with Rachel right now. No, 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 no. I didn't fall for that. Y yes. Yes, please tell me. I heard that some issue with the YouTube and, and something regarding that international, international trip is going. Okay. I just want to know if you need any help. I'm just talking to you as a friend. Let me stop you right here, Rajat sir. Like, I know how to take care of myself and my family. I don't want you to be inter uh, interfering in this. Oh. No, no, don't take it that way. I, I don't want to continue this conversation further, sir. I'm stopping it right here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so, so, sorry. Sorry. What these people do? Oof. That went bad. Yeah, I spoke to Mr. Steve. No, it didn't go well. He was not very interested in talking to us. And so, we need to pray for Steve. Ranjit could not talk to him. 
Lord Jesus, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for today. We thank you for everything that you've done. We ask you to forgive us for all the sin that we've done during this day. We thank you for your word, church. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this new day. Thank you for giving us everything we need. Help us to be loving and caring towards others. Let us be your light and hope to others. Keep us safe from all danger. Thank you all for listening to our prayer. Amen. Tell me, baby, when I hurt you. forgiven just hide behind that smile everybody needs your unfailing love everybody needs your absolute love Please forgive everybody sings cause it can't get enough and it's hard to hold on there's nothing to from me but please hear me out I have sinned against you kids and with God and I have not put my priorities right and I have um, kept away from God for a very long time I really don't know how to set things right but I do know that God wants the truth from the inside out. So I plan to go to church this Sunday and um, I would like for you and the children to come along with me. It would mean a lot if you could do that. Hello, Ranjit sir. Uh, this is Steve here. Yeah, how are you doing, Steve? Yeah, I called to say I'm so sorry for acting so rudely. Oh, nothing, nothing like I that. I really didn't mean to do that. I don't, don't worry, Steve. Me. Actually, this lockdown has worked out good for all of us. In a way, I was thinking about my my old things. Yes. This is like a wake-up call for me as well. Oh, that's wonderful. So, what I'll do is, I'll send you the location of our church and the address. I would like to come. I was looking for something like this, sir. We'll meet at the church. Thank you, sir. So, see you there. See you soon. Father in heaven, please believe me. I am laying down my life. I am broken like an arrow. Forgive me. Forgive your wayward son.
ഇഷ്ടമണി പറയാനായിട്ടാണ് ഞാൻ നിൽക്കുന്നത് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് രഞ്ജിത്തിന്റെ പ്രൊമോഷന്റെ ഒരു കാര്യത്തെ കുറിച്ച് അപ്പം നമ്മൾ ഈ കോവിഡിന്റെ ഈ സമയത്ത് ഞങ്ങൾ വളരെ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടി കൂടെയായിരുന്നു കടന്നുകൊണ്ട് പോയിരുന്നത് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് രഞ്ജിത്തിന്റെ ജോലിക്ക് ലോകത്തെ എല്ലാവരുടെയും ജോലി ഇങ്ങനെ പോയിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയും ഒക്കെ ഇരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു സമയമായിരുന്നു അപ്പം നമുക്കും അങ്ങനെ ഒരു പേടിയായിരുന്നു ജോലി പോകും പക്ഷെ രഞ്ജിത്ത് കർത്താവിന്റെ വലിയ കൃപ കൊണ്ട് ഒരു പ്രൊമോഷനാണ് കിട്ടിയത് അപ്പൊ കർത്താവിനോട് ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് സംസാരിച്ചത് നമ്മള് ഡാനിയൽ പ്രവാചകന്റെ പുസ്തകം മൂന്നാം അധ്യായം എടുക്കുമ്പോൾ അതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് ഷാഡ്ര മിഷേ ഖൻ അബിനു മൂന്ന് പേരെ കുറിച്ച് അതിൻ്റെ അകത്ത് പറയുന്നുണ്ട് അവര് തീച്ചുളയിലേക്ക് ഇട്ടതായിട്ട് പറയുന്നു അപ്പൊ അവിടെ മൂന്നാമത് നാലാമത് ഒരാളെ അവിടെ കണ്ടതായിട്ട് ഡിമുക്ക് തന്നെസ് നാലാമത് ഒരാളെ കണ്ടത് അത് ഒരു ദൈവത്തിന്റെ പുത്രനായിട്ട് കണ്ടതായിട്ട് പറയുന്നു അപ്പൊ എന്റെ മനസ്സിൽ വന്ന ഒരു കാര്യം ഈ നാലാമതായിട്ട് ഉള്ള ആ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ പുത്രൻ ആയിരുന്നു എങ്കിൽ എന്തുകൊണ്ട് ആ തീയെ കെടുത്തി കളഞ്ഞില്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈ മൂന്ന് പേരെ എന്തുകൊണ്ട് അവിടെ നിന്ന് എടുത്ത് മാറ്റിയില്ല ഇതൊന്നും ചെയ്യാതെ കൂടെ നിൽക്കുമായിരുന്നു അവിടെ പോയി അത് കഴിഞ്ഞ് നമ്മൾ ആ വചനത്തിന്റെ അവസാനം കാണുന്നു ആ നിബുക്കത്തെ നേസർ ഇത് മനസ്സിലാക്കുകയും ദൈവത്തെ പ്രൈസ് ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് എന്നിട്ട് ഈ മൂന്ന് പേർക്കും ഒരു പ്രൊമോഷൻ കൊടുത്തതായിട്ട് പറയുന്നുണ്ട് സെയിം തിങ് തന്നെ ഞാൻ പറയാണ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഈ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുകളെല്ലാം ഉണ്ടായപ്പോൾ തന്നെ കർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ കൂടെ നിൽക്കുമായിരുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ കൂടെ സഹിച്ച് ഞങ്ങളുടെ കൂടെ കൊണ്ടുപോയിട്ട് ആണ് അവസാനം ഒരു പ്രൊമോഷനിലേക്ക് അത് എത്തിയത് കർത്താവ് ഈ സമയത്തെല്ലാം ഞങ്ങളുടെ കൂടെ ഉണ്ടായിട്ട് രഞ്ജിത്തിന് ഒരു പ്രൊമോഷൻ കിട്ടി ഞങ്ങൾ സന്തോഷമായിട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഈ സമയത്ത് ഒന്നിച്ച് കർത്താവിനെ പ്രൈസ് ചെയ്യാനും എല്ലാ ദിവസവും കർത്താവിനെ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുവാനും ദൈവം അനുവദിച്ചു അതാണ് എന്റെ ഒരു ടെസ്റ്റ്മണി എനിക്ക് അനുഷിനോട് പറയാം they got us uh, by the verse daniel daniel is so uh, daniel so they were praying and then god in the same way protected them throughout this actually he got a promotion into inventory so everybody else lots of people lost your jobs and got be promoted it doesn't but they had but god was with them just like the people in the fire in daniel and in the, the fourth person was a son of god and actually had me so realize that the son of god was with them and promoted all three of them into another level and son of the big god Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego did not sit down on that fire defeated. They walked around and there was a fourth man walking around with them. Hallelujah. And they didn't even smell of smoke.